Let's now talk about Europe's crisis with financial analyst Max Kaiser, the man loved by the people, hated by the banks. And uh, hello to you. So tell me, do you believe the EU really is in danger of collapsing? Well, why doesn't the EU investigate? Well, let me explain something. The EU right now is investigating criminal fraudulent activity over there at the Anglo-Irish Bank. $451 million of illegal loans that are now parked in offshore accounts. Implicated are Sean Fitzpatrick, uh, David Drum, uh, Sean Quinn, the financial terrorists that are taking Ireland down. What's the government doing? Well, the last we heard from them, they were drinking heavily and hiding under their desks. Why not just investigate the criminal activity first? Put the financial terrorists in jail, then figure out what to do with the currency. Now, Max, let's, uh, let's talk about solutions here, because there are fears the contagion from Ireland's crippled banking system may spread. But if it agrees to an EU bailout, wouldn't that solve the problem for Ireland and possibly the whole union? Absolutely not. It, it, unless Ireland's willing to give up its sovereignty, unless Ireland is willing to become a debt slave, unless Ireland wants its affairs conducted by the IMF and the IMF, everywhere they've gone, they've brought, they've brought destruction and economic mayhem. You know, they're licking their chops waiting to get in there to cause havoc, pay themselves huge fees, give bonuses to their cadre of crony capitalists and terrorist bankers, and Ireland is quaking in its boots and the government unfortunately in Ireland is not standing up for the people. It's abdicated its role as representative of the people. The people in Ireland are getting completely hammered by these banking financial terrorists. All right, so Max, I'm sorry, you're saying that instead of taking a loan out from the European Union, you're saying the IMF is not an option either? <laughs> no, the IMF is, is not an option for any...